Hi, my name's Paul Kipax, I work for Marvin Instruments. And I'd like to take you through this submission to the RSC Analytical Science Twitter poster conference. So this is a paper that we worked on at Marvin Instruments entitled Characterising a Nasal Spray Formulation from Droplet to API Particle Size. And our goal in this poster was to understand something about the delivery of a drug using a nasal pump spray. When a drug is delivered by a nasal pump spray, there are two things that we need to consider. First, what are the size of the droplets produced by the pump? Because that tells us about where those droplets will end up in the nasal passages. And secondly, if it's a suspension formulation, we need to know about the particle size of the drug within those droplets, because that can then relate to the bioavailability of that drug substance. So there are two techniques that we applied in the poster. The first is the technique of laser diffraction. And laser diffraction is to look, used to look at the droplet size produced by the pump. It has an advantage that we can measure very rapidly. So during the depression of the pump, we can follow the changes in particle size in real time. And what we show in the poster is that we can measure the droplet size and we can look at how that droplet size changes according to the way the pump is actuated. So is it actuated very slowly or very rapidly? And that may relate to how a patient or different patient groups may use that device. So we're obtaining information on the robustness of drug delivery. So laser diffraction tells us about the droplets. Now we want to know about the API itself. So now those droplets are in the nasal passages, what is the likely bioavailability? And to do that, we need to measure the API, the active pharmaceutical ingredient, droplet, or sorry, particle size. Now that can be complex because the formulation may contain non-active particles called excipients, as well as the API. And so to tell those two apart and to give us a particle size distribution for the API, we use the technique of morphologically directed Raman spectroscopy. And what that does is it combines the capabilities of image analysis that allow us to isolate the particles with Raman spectroscopy can, that can be used to target those particles and tell us what the particle size specifically of the API is. And so within the poster, we go through that workflow of how we isolate the API particles we're able to calculate an API particle size distribution and that can tell us about the bioavailability of this formulation. So please look at this poster and look at the details of the work that we've done and if you'd like to know more about either of these techniques, laser diffraction or morphologically directed Raman spectroscopy, then please contact us at Marwood Instruments.